Hello, good morning again and welcome to a new video that is going to be the last video to explain how to finally find the kinetic coefficient of friction, okay, using the experimental measurements you have taken on the Excel table, okay. Remember that we were, we were using uh, this uh, theoretical fundamentals, okay, where you found uh, that the, the for force acceleration is equal to the force, the tangential force minus the friction force, and then we, we did all these calculations, okay, that is explained in another video, and finally we got to this, okay, to this uh, equation, that is the one that we are going to use in this way, okay? So that it looks like the equation of a line where n is g and mx is this. So finally, what we are going to do is to use the, the equation as, as the equation of the line and you, we, you have to represent the y values and the x values being the y values a divided by the sine of the angle and the x values is going to be g times the cotangent of the angle okay this is what we are going to do and this is why this is why we have found this uh, representation okay this is why we have prepared this excel Okay, where you find finally got this the g times the cotangent of the angle, that is this g times the cosine of the angle divided by the sine, that is the cotangent of the angle, right? And a divided by the sine of the angle. So you have to represent this to find the line which is y equals to mx plus m. So let's do it to do that. You have to select these values, okay? We select all of this, and we go here, insert a graph, and we are going to use this graph, okay? The dispersion of points, this one. We click on it, and then here we have the representation of these values. Oh, sorry. Okay, here we have it. So how do we, do we need? We need the line that is going to be the line that join all the points, okay? The tendons line. And we are going to also show the vertical and the horizontal values here so that we can see the, the line better, right? So to do this, you have to do the, to, 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 the, uh, to make double click here on the graph. So let's do it. You do double click here. Okay. Then this is some route. You show you show this. And then we go first to show the this the series A divided by the sine of the angle. So we click there. And then there, what we are going to do, sorry, what we are going to do is to go to find the, wait, 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 to find the tendons line, okay? So we have to say that we want to show the tendons line. Let's do it. Okay, now the tendons line is shown, can you see? This is the tennis line, right? Perfect. Very good. Next, we are going to we are going to try to, in addition to the tennis line, we are going to show. Yeah, we are going to show. Look at this information here that is about the tennis line. Okay, here. This is the tennis line. We have set. To show it, and then here you have present the equation of the graph and present the value of r. 
So we are going to say yes to both. Yes, and then appears the equation, and yes, and then appears the R. Okay, here you have these two values, right? So now we are going to take this, this graph, to compare which our uh, uh, with the values and, and see and analyze what is this, right? To go to do this, we go again to our presentation, and then you had here, as you can see, the equation that we were using, and this is what we have done to represent a divided by the sine of the angle and g times the cotangent, and this is the line, the tangent line. Okay, the equation of this tangent line is y times m times x plus n, being m dependent exactly then minus the coefficient, the uh, kinetic coefficient of friction. Okay, because it's this, okay? Can you see? This is m. We have use x to represent that, and we have to use y to represent that. So in our equation, in our graph, here, we find that the value is negative 0 0.328. So this is the value of our coefficient. And this 10.6 something, okay, this is going to be the value of g, okay? Because this is n and n is g. So finally, we got these values. So this is the way to calculate what is our mu and what is our g. And the r, the value of r, in this case 0 0.9344, is how um, good all the points approximate to a line. So how good the experiment was. Okay, if your value is not so close of 0 0.99, it's because your um, your uh, experiments were quite quite wrong, or you had too, ma too many mistakes. And with this, I have finished. Hope it was useful. Thank you for watching. See you in other videos.